Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to be doing a really quick overview video of the new cards that are coming out. And actually, it's it's not really of the cards because I did that video yesterday, so this is not a repeat. Uh, some of the information may be repeating because I did mention some of the free-to-play characters, but this is more for all the units that are coming out and how to get them to Super Attack 10, uh, being free-to-play, that is. So you don't need to use Elder Kai's. A lot of these units will have farmable uh, cards, characters that you can use. Now, obviously, the free-to-play characters will, because, like, the, the Kale, the Khalifa are free-to-play. You're going to grind up the Super Attack 10. Um, and actually, I think that's it. The Kaba, you can get up to Super Attack 10 because he's free-to-play as well. So it's not really worth mentioning there. But all the other cards here, most of them are. Android 18 will be, in the future, farmable. So, I mean, I don't really see anyone using Elder Kai's on her, but she is. You can use Elder Kai's on her, but she will also be farmable, free-to-play farmable. Uh, the Super Saiyan God Ku card is semi-farmable. Uh, same thing with the agility one. The Jiren will be fully farmable. Do not, guys, this, the whole point of this video is actually for this Jiren. Do not increase the super attack with Elder Kai's. Just wait. I understand the, the, the frustration of needing to wait. It's probably going to come out sooner than later. Uh, but wait, he will have a free-to-play card. We're going to talk about that. And obviously, the Ultra Instinct Goku will have a free-to-play as well. And the same thing with the Khalifa. And that's what we're talking about in this video. So if you guys are already aware, you can just click off of it. I'm, I'm making it for those who are not aware. Anyway, thanks for stopping by just to check out the video if you if you know what's going on. <laughs> uh, anyway, so Android, oh, sorry, Jiren. So Jiren is going to have this technique card. He's going to be available from the actual Jiren event, uh, standing against absolute absolute strength. That's his Dokken event when he gets a Dokken awakening. He's going to be available from the first stage, Jiren the Grey. He is going to have this uh, technique version of himself. He comes down as an SSR, but he can be Z-Awakened to a UR for 100% chance. Now, it's up to you on the JP side. I just awakened him, but I also have a, a lot of Zenny uh, and a lot of Metals, so I needed to use them uh, because I was running out of space for the Metals. So I just, you know, use that uh, to increase his super attack. I'm probably not going to do that on the global side. I'm probably just going to grind out like 15, 20 of them, however much it takes. For him to get up to Super Attack 10 without having a Dokken Wake in the Technique ones. Um, but definitely do that. H him is actually, uh, he is actually a really good unit overall. Reduce his damage received by 50% when key is 10 or more. So that's going to happen a lot. So if you don't actually pull the Strength Jiren, his free-to-play counterpart when he comes out is going to be really good. But uh, definitely get him from this event when it comes out. Uh, and he will feed into this Strength Jiren. Highly recommend doing that because you don't want to use Elder Kai's when you don't have to. Save them for LRs or something that come along because LRs are either semi-farmable up to attack 10, and then you have to go and Dokken Awaken them to LR, and you're going to use end up, end up using Elder Kai's anyway. Um, the next one is going to be the Goku. Goku from the free-to-play event. This is from the uh, current event that's out over here. He is farmable from stage 3, uh, level 3, Bergamo, the Crusher versus Goku. Now, a lot of you, on my, at least on the um, the Facebook group, the Dokkan Multiverse that I'm part of, a lot of you guys have been saying, oh, he never drops, he never drops. I don't know what you're talking about. I used, like, maybe 300 stamina, and I had enough to get him to, I think it was actually 350 stamina. But I had enough to get him to Super Attack 10 and to get 9 additionals for Ultra Instant Goku. So I don't know what you all are talking about with that. Maybe I just had extreme luck. Maybe you guys are just having really bad luck. I mean, it did take some grind. It, t it took about uh, two full stamina bars for me, uh, but I was able to get him uh, all of them that I needed. Uh, I mean, I'm also running a full universe survival team, and I got a lot of double drops, so I got like a two and a one, or at one time I got four total. So I did get lucky with one of my, with one of my drops, but still, uh, I, I mean, I understand the frustration. But he is there. He will Doken Awaken. When he Doken Awakens, you're going to need uh, 20 of his medals. Uh, so I'm actually in the middle of that grind right now. I have like 60 medals so far because I got all of them. Uh, get his medals from this event also. Last stage is going to be from stage 12. Dokken Awaken him to Ultra Instant Goku. Z Awaken him for 100% chance to feed into Ultra Instant Goku. Now, obviously, guys, remember you're going to want to do it to his on Z Awaken form or his on Dokken Awaken form. Uh, the SSR or Ultra Rare, you could Z Awaken him. Uh, Ultra Instant Goku for 100% chance to increase his super attack. Don't use other Kai's on him. No, no, no reason to at all. But you can increase his super attack free to play. Um... Khalifla, this is the free-to-play Khalifla. You can get her here, base form. You're going to need to Dokken Awaken her with five of her medals. She comes from the Dragon Ball Super Universe Survival Saga event, the commencement. This is going to be coming out. Khalifla is going to be available on Stage 2. The Berserker Awakens. And then her medals, along with uh, Kale's medals, are available on Stage 7. Another battle craze, Saiyan Clash. So go ahead and get five of them in order to Dokken Awaken her into the Super Saiyan uh, to Khalifla. When she Dokken Awakens, she can now feed into the actual strength or the agility Khalifla. Again, make sure you do her Z Awaken, her Undoken Awaken form. You can Z Awaken her. 
um, in order to increase the super attack. Otherwise, you're only going to have like a 50% chance. Uh, highly recommend doing it. It's going to be a little bit of a grind fest for her because you're going to need so many of her damn medals. Uh, it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 medals uh, just to Doken Waken all, um, all nine of them to get her up to super attack 10. Um, the agility went to super attack 10. Plus, you also are going to need the medals for Kefla. And if you're going to want to have one of her, I think Kefla requires 10 of her medals. And then if you're going to want to get her Doken Awaken, the strength one, with all four do pass unlocked, you're going to have another 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 on top of that. So you have a lot of medals to grind. But definitely worth it. Khalifa is a really good unit. I just don't think she warranted using Elder Kai's. I know a lot of you have, uh, especially on the Dokkan Multiverse, I see a whole bunch of Rainbowed or a, a lot of Khalifas that have a lot of dupe system fed in. I mean, I, I gave her additional, but that's about it. If I gave her anything, I, I'd probably give her some crits or something. But I mean, let's see. When she Doken Awakens, attack plus 90%, that, that that might be worth it. But right now, not not so much. She's a good unit. She definitely dodges. But uh, anyway, get her up Super Tech Town free to play. I Don't don't use all their Kai's on her. Next one is going to be the White, White Hot Face Off Goku. This is semi-farmable. He comes down as an SR. He's a more common pull. Uh, I would recommend getting up the Super Tech 10, Doken Awakening him the two times into the physical unit. Uh, I would recommend doing that over feeding him into the other ones. Th this one you might be kind of mixed on using uh, Elder Kai's. I'm going to be using Elder Kai's. I'm not going to lie to you. Elder Kai's on the strength variant. That's what I'm doing. Uh, but he is uh, semi farmable. He you can get him from summons. Uh, he has a higher chance of being pulled because he's an SR. He Doken Awakens with all of these medals from this event, the Battle of Gods. He's also part of the Hero Extermination Plan. You can get them, but it's a pain in the butt to try and get them. Um, you're going to need what? You're going to need uh, Videl, Gohan, Vegeta, Goten, and Trunks medals. So uh, Gohan level 5, 6 is going to be Trunks and Goten, which is a pain in the butt. Uh, level 7, 7 is Vegeta's Pride for Vegeta. Uh, level 8 is for Videl medals. And that, that way you could Doken Awaken them. This is a big grind fest. And uh, even if you have all of them, just grinding out all those goddamn medals is such a pain. You will Doken Awaken, though, into State of God, Super Saiyan God, Goku, or God Kukard. Um, he can feed into both the Strength and the Agility God Q cards. Um, I would recommend getting the Strength one to Super Tech 10, uh, because now his Doken Awaken, even though I, I personally don't think that his, their passive skills are amazing, I think they're really good. They're definitely a higher tier, a, a higher ranked A tier in my opinion now, especially because the Super Attacks increases attack and defense for the Strength one. Um, they are... The only reason the Strength one I think is worth it is because he is the best linking buddy for Ultra Instant Goku, so he's definitely going to have a lot more relevance. Uh, and because he gets attack and defense buff, he will be tanking a lot better. Uh, and because he's linking with Ultra Instant Goku for a lot of these attack links, I mean, think about it, Fierce Battle and First Awaken, just those two alone is a little bit ridiculous. Um, and what is it? Um, where's your my Ultra Instinct? Uh, Ultra Instinct's over here. Uh, boom, boom. No, that's not Ultra Instinct. We had him over here. Sorry about that, guys. Um, <laughs> Ultra Instinct Goku has, what, Fierce Battle of the First Awaken and Godly Power, so that's another 15%. So that, that's, that's 30 40, 55% attack buffs over here um, because of all those links. I mean, he doesn't have Super Saiyan, which kind of sucks, but, I mean, you're golden. <laughs> like, it's really awesome. So, um, I, I'm probably going to use Elder Kai's myself. That's just, that's just my thing. Um, um, maybe not the agility one. The agility one, I'll probably do out the grind. Uh, the only thing is the strength one does not go on a Universe Survival Saga team, so you're going to be using the agility one. The thing is, the agility one doesn't have the first Awaken, so that kind of sucks. But, um, yeah, that's that. Um, and last but not least, it's going to be Android 18. Um, this is going to be the agility one. She is going to be available in the future along with the Jiren when the Jiren thing comes out from um, this event. It's supposed to be the Universe Survival Saga, the epic finale. So this isn't out yet. This is going to come out when Jir around the time Jiren gets his Doken Awaken. Uh, Android 18 is going to be farmable. I don't see anyone ever really putting Elder Kai's into her anyway, just because she's also semi-farmable from SRs that drop, but now she's fully farmable. Um, so you're going to want to go ahead, get these drops from level one battle of love, uh, go grind them out and then they could feed into the SSR 18. That's going to be new. Um, so, I mean, that's going to be cool. The same thing's going to be said about the 17 who is already out. He will be available when that event drops from level six, got a destruction Tobo's Ascension. Um, so you can go ahead and grab them, but, um, I would highly recommend waiting until Jiren, the Jiren event comes out along with the finale event. So that way you can get him up to super tech 10 without using elder Kai's. But anyway, guys, um, that's pretty much it. That's all I really want to talk to you about. Just to make sure, don't jump the gun, uh, especially with the with the damn Jiren. You don't want to go and um, have Jiren uh, used Elder Kai's on him. Uh, just because the Universe Survival Saga category, his leader ability is still really good. Uh, HP attack and defense plus 120%. But I mean, you have other you know teams that you can run multi-facet or multi-attributes. Uh, um and still have that 120 buff. I mean, we just had the, the the Vegito Blue and the Rose return, 
and now you have 120 heroes and 120 villains. I mean, I guess he could run better for a, a heroes type team because he's doing universal survival saga, and most of most of them are heroes. Um, but honestly, I, I would I would just wait. But anyway, guys, that's my opinion on the matter. I just want to make sure you are all informed. If you're going to use other guys, so be it. That's fine. I understand if you don't have any good characters and you're trying to beat certain events. But honestly, I, I, I don't have the time when the finale is going to come, when the Durin uh, Dokken Awakens is going to come. But I would assume, I would guess within the next month, just because we're just getting this now and we, we don't have that much more material to get caught up with JP. But anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for joining me here today, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.